Jamisha, you said as a result of that argument, your mom caused you to become homeless. Tell us about that. Well, last year, when she came back from the Super Bowl party, she said, Jamisha, I don't know where you're gonna go, but you need to find somewhere to leave. You need to find somewhere to live. She said, you can sleep here tonight, but tomorrow when you go to work, you cannot come back. Wow. So, wow. That was it for no oh, reason. Because Uncle of that Bo argument? Yeah. So, Phyllis, when did things start to go haywire with you and Jamisha? I will say... Um... When I lost my virginity. Mm. Is that true? No. No, okay, so what, what <laughs> is it from not. your... Of course not, there's two <laughs> perspectives. So sure. tell us your perspective, Phyllis. When did you notice So um, I started noticing that she began to change a little bit at around 13, 14 years old. When I had my son, um, Jamisha was already 11 years old. She mm -hmm. was used to being with me. She's a spoiled and coddled child. So when he came along, you know, it, that did take some of her attention away. Well, you know? Jamisha, your story was a little bit different. That yes. it happened when you lost your virginity when your mom became different with you. So describe that to us. Okay, so when I lost my virginity, three days later, I went to my mom and I let her know how I lost my virginity. You know, I wasn't expecting a reaction. She cried. She got up crying. She went upstairs to her room and I didn't see her for an entire week. She didn't talk to me for a week. I didn't see her face for a week. And Phyllis, you say that that didn't yes. happen, of course. That did not happen. My daughter gets walked to the bus stop every day. This, I lost my virginity over senior. the summer, so me being walked to the bus stop has nothing to do with... Well, Phyllis, will you at least admit summer. that she came to you at age 16 and, and told you she that. lost her virginity? I appreciated that. We yeah. sat down and we talked about that. That has been something that I've told my daughter forever. You can come to me and you can talk to me about anything. What did was you your initial you reaction, Phyllis? Because I just have a hard time as a, as a young girl and I grew up years ago running home and telling my mother I lost my virginity and my mom going, woo, good, good job, you go, girl. I mean, <laughs> what, was your, what was your reaction uh, in your head that you were thinking, We you were know? sitting in the living room. She was on one couch. I was on the other couch. She told me, and my first thought was, oh, my God, she listened to me. She told me. And then I told her, I was like, okay, yeah, I began to cry because I'm an emotional person. Um, I began to cry. And um, we con conversed a little bit more, and that's all I can really remember. This there was, was no yelling or I'm ashamed no, of you. No, never, no. So, never. So, Phyllis, you would say all of this is because Jamisha is jealous or became jealous of your younger son. And I don't really want to say jealous, but kind of, yes. But, Phyllis, now, you told our producers one of the reasons why you don't see your daughter as much as you could because you feel like she has a drinking problem. The number one thing that me and my mom did when she got off of work is go to her favorite bar. Go to her bar. You went Go to the bar with me maybe two or three times until I found out that she had uh, alcohol problem. It wasn't two or three times. It was a little more than that.